Hey guys, guys, guys. Hello everybody out there. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. We are once again here at the 13th day of our success affirmations. The thing which we are doing very consistently every single day. You meet together, feeding in positive thoughts, great thoughts, amazing thoughts and we want to transform ourselves to better individuals. That's why we are making efforts to take time out to come together to be in these sessions to help each other to grow and today we are heading into the 13th yes 1 3 13th day and this is really amazing i would like i would like that each of you people maintain your own trackers okay so and all those people who are interested in doing this for a long term like right, actually till you actually transform i would like that you people reach out to me in a private message okay give me the counter of like how many days you have attended these sessions because i so far i don't have a track of all the people so you can give the counters and i would make some effort to actually work with you closely so that you get more consistent with all these things okay so because we are doing all these things to get practical results to convert our life to something good so if there is somebody in you who really want to convert these things into result who want to be dedicated focused and committed so i would like to help you and work with you a bit more closely so if you are really interested to be in the long term game to transform your life just uh, drop me like how many days have you attended out of this 13 days so my for me it's 13 days but all you people can drop me a number like how many exact days have you attended and accordingly we would be i would be making some more efforts and there could be a unit okay where we can become more engaging and make sure that the counter keeps ticking every single day where we share our thoughts of what you are learning how you are implementing these things can there be a possibility to do it something right what you are doing right now and we can do a kind of a guidance session where i would be really liking to help the people who really want to grow okay so these general talks are pretty good but if we make it more specific to you people that would get more results why because opportunities are everywhere guys okay opportunities are everywhere maybe the way you look at them right now with a covered mind with a pretty uh, beginners mind if you are looking at that opportunity so even though if it comes in front of you and goes you might ignore or overlook it okay but when with experience what happens is looking at situation that's what the top very successful businessmen of the world you give them a situation and from there they would be having that keen eye that they would be able to catch hold of a opportunity and convert it into results so it's there for everybody it's available in this world right now but maybe if you are overlooking it and i have spent like 10 years i have spent a decade in the it industry i have seen through a lot i have been through a lot of phases okay and if i can really be help helpful to you in order to understand your situation and give more value to you people so that i can pinpoint hey can you convert this into some result or this into something or that's where i was doing like when this uh, one day uh, jan uh, janta band was announced right so at that time i took this initiative where i opened it to the forum like anybody who wants to have a conversation with me one on one can straight away call me and i would be understanding their problem and guiding them based on their current situation that would really get nice results okay so and since we are in this group together we are doing these success affirmations consistently so anybody in this group who is motivated and very much in the zone like i want to do it i really want to convert my life okay so all those committed people i am talking to you can reach out to me just drop me a counter like how many of uh, sessions you have attended out of these 13 and accordingly we would be further planning it out of making you more consistent into it or of understanding what is your working background right now and how we can help you to improve in your personal abilities and we can do all those kind of things okay because we want to have results and the people who genuinely want to help themselves so i am always available to be with you people to help your uh, you guys okay so this is what it's all a kind of a initiative so that we make a better world we make a better next generation and i would request and like expect all the people who are learning out here if these things really help you okay if you are able to and i know ki the content the talks which we are doing all this thing is 100% valid the only thing is how much time you take to consume and abide and live by these principles okay and that's the key thing so once you start applying and living by these principle and then that would be like okay you have properly utilized these sessions and once you utilize these sessions then i would request like you spread these messages further you even 
bring other people to the same zone because we are in to such a kind of a humanity zone only when we help then only we can grow so all those people who are into this game always have this thing back of your mind once you become something once you consume these things in you you would be offering a helping hand to other people and taking more people in the journey okay all said done all pumped up for that now for today okay i was just thinking through and uh, uh, just like uh, many a times so there are a lot of people who comes in my team who leaves who keeps moving that's what is it industry okay people come people go there are some people who are really good who stick with you and creates a very strong bond and that is what is happening in my team right now okay but uh, working with team and like uh, being working closely with each of the individual of different experience level i have something very valuable and important to share right now based on my experience and whatever i have seen of people truly genuine fact and if you are trying to build up a it career these things would be helpful to each and every one of you okay no matter what experience level you are in whether you are trying to as a fresher get into the industry or if you are already working in the industry these things or even if you are at some senior positions right now all these knowledge which i would be today sharing is going to really transform a lot of your insights and the way you look at things and this is something which i have deeply understood and i have seen it in people where they commit mistakes where they get flawed okay and that's what i wanted to share that piece of learning with you people so that you can get more value out of it okay now one thing every it experience level okay no matter i think it can be generalized to any industry and which now since if you are in a different industry you can actually customize it to your particular zone but just imagine okay no matter what experience level you are in right now be it a fresher level or a 0 to 2 brackets 2 to 4 bracket 4 to 6 bracket 6 to 8 bracket 8 to 10 bracket or any segment okay you need to understand one thing ke at that level what is the industry expecting out of you okay you need to understand one very important thing you can offer service that's fine but what exactly is the company or the organization or the industry expecting from you okay point is once you offer service if they need the same then you are in the right zone okay but if suppose you are offering some service but their expectations are way beyond so that means there is a pretty gap okay now you have to upgrade yourself to that level so that you can offer them that kind of a service and then you would be having the value this is very important thing to understand okay many people whenever you are walking in interviews or anything when you are coming on the floor they come with a zone ke hey this is me okay fine as a individual whatever kind of a person you are you walk in as your personality but what happens you need to very actively focus for that kind of experience level what is the industry expecting from you the expectations defining is very important you need to understand what is the market expectations from your experience level and you should always try to meet that very important if you are not meeting it would have its own consequences you would suffer at the time of performance appraisal you would suffer at the time of getting a uh, recognition and all those other aspects of things okay so first thing don't think just from your perspective think from the perspective of the other persons so when you are working for a company or walking into the interview think that what those guys are looking in you okay that's the first step second step is then evaluate like whether you are meeting your better your worse all those things and then try to meet up the expectation that's how it works okay but now i want to tell one very significant fact okay many people just think like getting the job is just the work done and from there onwards life would be pretty good you would be getting a lot of things and that's what is the it environment you would find that there would be so many companies going it for some outing going for some parties there is chill out time there is music there is entertainment there are libraries there would be lot of sports this game that game it is having a lot of stuff inside okay now point is you need to be very careful enough that what things can actually distract you it's okay to have fun it's okay to have enjoyment but you need to define a proper boundary that 
don't get so much lost in the fun factor of IT that you forget about your career factor. And this is one of a very key important thing for many beginners in the IT industry. It would have a party mode. It would have a fun mode, excitement mode. IT industry has that kind of a flavor. Okay, sports would be there, dance would be there, music would be there, parties would be there, food would be there, lunch, dinner, everything would be there. That's one part of the industry. Okay. But the other part is, and now since you come out fresh from the market, so you would be so much carried away with this, of the fun, of the enjoyment. But what you do, if you get so much involved in these things and just neglect your career growth, that is what many people in IT does, okay? They say that, okay, we are getting paid, we are working for a project, things are moving on, let me enjoy, let me enjoy, let me enjoy. And these people, now what happens when you join a company, your zero to two years of experience might expectations might be pretty fairly manageable okay not that great expectation everybody knows he's a fresher or a junior guy everybody would come like helping you out of the situation but what happens and these people if they mix on with this kind of a fun factor now what happens the next step when the time passes only your experience is changing on paper and you need to now understand this fact right only on paper your offer letter date was fixed and now only on paper your time is passing your experience is growing if you are not actively thinking like along with experience your skill set your individuality should grow if you are not thinking that you remain still the same person having a higher experience level with you and that is a very tough situation to be in okay on paper, you might say I'm having three years of experience, but your knowledge level can just be having one year of experience. And you need to understand that now if you try for a switch in the market, the market expects three years of individual performer. Why? Because they are not going to pay you for one year and then for three years and then give you a work of one year experience. It's not possible, right? They would expect you to be at the pace of somebody having three years of experience and accordingly you would be get paid and accordingly you would be having the opportunity money and every of the aspect and you need to understand this very important fact why because if you are not cautiously thinking about your growth along with your experience if you are not growing that means you are in a problem situation and which can bounce back on you at any time it can blast on you miserably Okay, and I'm telling you, I've seen these things happening. There have been cases in my organization where I saw, okay, person having six years of experience. Guys, this is real stuff. Person having six years of experience. But when we were interacting with that, so on paper, genuine, he's working with companies, having six years of industry experience. He's able to say okay, what kind of projects he has worked on. But now the situation, if we are giving him some requirement and like ask him to come up, our expectation is he should perform like a six years candidate. But what is happening is if you are assigning him some work, he's not even performing somebody like three years of experience candidate. And Hello, back there. Okay, so the internet was circling out there. Okay, internet was circling. Now I'm back. Hopefully you are able to connect back to me. Yeah, I'm able to see that a few of you guys there. So now important back on the track. Okay, it might be getting into pretty internal topics okay it might not trigger you but it's very important you need to understand this fact because if you are not thinking cautiously about it your life is going to happen on the same track and it's very important to realize time once gone cannot be recovered back and it's very important to understand so in our company itself i we found that there was a person on paper six years of experience but when you are assigning work to that person he was not able to even deliver to somebody having three years of experience Okay, okay. There were disconnections, guys. I think the network is blipping today. It's really getting bad. Hopefully, I just um, reconnected to my Wi-Fi again. Hopefully, this time it should get smooth. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Now, hopefully, this time it gets better. So, again, getting back to the topic, guys. This is really important stuff. We are, we are, not, we are, we are having problem with the internet, but it's okay. Now, we are back. We are online. And I would like to, again, focus back to the same thing. If you are not caring about your growth, on paper, your experience is going to grow. Just on paper, it would grow. If your individuality is not growing along with that, very shortly in life, you would start getting into troubles because the market expectations would be completely different. If you are saying on paper, you are having three years of experience, then it's a must for you 
to know what people expects from three years of experience and if you are having that gap in you then you need to work on yourself to bridge up that gap it's very important okay so now understand it because otherwise with time you would run into problems just imagine what happens to that person six years of experience not able to justify half of their experience and now what would happen further if trying to switch the market would even get br uh, brutal because six year expectations are huge okay so understand this fact so now i would like to give you a pretty clear cut actions of what you need to perform in order to be in pace with the market pace okay now for that it's a pretty simple approach what you need to do is whatever experience you are there right now okay if you are having like a, a beginner experience or if you are having like two years of experience always look ahead two years from now okay so no matter what level you are in right now if you are having one year of experience look for what people at three years of experience expect from you and how you can find that simple stuff nowadays everything is available on internet you just have to go to some job profiles okay just visit the job descriptions on online portal uh, be it like nokri monster and just search for the experience range of that senior bracket so if you are having a zero years of experience or if you are a beginner i would recommend that you google it out find the job description and the role expectation of somebody having two years of experience you have to look ahead in advance if you are not doing that you are just spending time and which would get you into trouble so if you are having two years of experience highly recommended that today itself just go google and find out what the market expects from somebody having four year of experience always look ahead like two years from whatever level you are in right now it's very important okay now once you have found that thing out there would be a lot of job profiles available filter it down search what exactly is the job description expecting you in terms of technology in terms of roles and responsibilities from all these aspects okay once you figured this thing out and now nowadays you can find that on linkedin you can find that on so many uh, job portals uh, like nokri monster shine there are a lot of tools on linkedin on glassdoor there are a lot of company reviews but so what whatever is your experience google and figure out what is the job description of a person having two years more experience than you done okay second evaluate yourself in comparison to that senior experience role where you are what are you lacking guys don't wait for your team people to actually define your growth or your life journey they would be giving you work they would be caring about you they would be there always as, as helping but you take responsibility of your life this is very important okay so figure out what your future you expects and that future you market would tell you so you don't have to worry much about it ke who would tell me who would tell me figure out 10 15 profiles of your domain of your java and then what are the skill sets and the job description there would be some roles and responsibilities there would be some technology wise expectation okay now regardless of whatever you are doing right now that doesn't matter but you need to see this expectation now second thing straight away start putting in efforts of doing some self evaluation where you are with regards to these expectations how much you need to work more or work less you need to upgrade yourself in terms of your skills or whatever you need to do this self evaluation that's the second step and third step is since you are working or whatever you are be doing right now your everyday actions should take you to that future version of you which is expected after 2 years from now this is how you can be in pace of the market requirement it's mandatory if you are not really growing if you have left yourself on time like okay when we get 4 years or when we get 6 years at that time we'll think believe it opportunities would start reaching out because there would be some people who would perfectly justify having that experience level and there would be some people who would say i have not done that but i can do it i know that there is a difference between these two people and you can just imagine when somebody is crossing the interview if somebody is really expert who can do these things already they would get that opportunity and you would just be like who oh, i should have learned that ahead in advance so that is one thing which you need to understand it's very important and apply this trick no matter what the experience level and as long as you are into the industry you need to always keep upgrading acquiring new skills 
acquiring roles and responsibilities and always keep upgrading and believe it guys every level of experience offers a different learning curve so when you are in a lower bracket learn all those things but target to grow to somebody having 4 years of experience expectation so there are two responsibilities first you have to justify your current level but as you are justifying it you need to move towards the higher level so when you are experience is 4 year you are already justifying whatever is the expectation of market for 4 years and by that way many people they go there would be lot of situation people would like i am attending so many interviews i am not able to crack it i am not getting calls this is happening that is happening point is all those factors would be there but you need to understand what can you do to solve and fix the situation now that's a challenge which is available for you now you need to evaluate understand apply but this journey starts today the journey for your growth for your hunger starts today if you have not done this exercise so far i would recommend that weekend is coming saturday sunday coming corona time is there if you are not working from home then you are in a long vacation already so you can use that for your growth but if you are working saturday sunday is coming do some evaluation ki what is market expecting from you 2 years from now okay you might say that the market expectations might change after 2 years that's why who is asking you to do this analysis only once do it every month okay do it every month like is the technology trend changing or you need to switch to something else because dekho if you are doing these kind of self analysis then you are the right person to tell yourself okay, which technology to work on because you would automatically understand the market needs these kind of set of technologies these roles and responsibilities and you are just preparing yourself for that so you don't need guidance from any external person that's where people are so lost like which somebody comes and mentors me if nobody is there you become your own mentor the future version of you is going to guide you hey hey baba you have to learn these things is mandatory just go out there figure out what is expected to learn put your daily actions to become that kind of a person if you are doing this consistently your life would grow on consistently when your experience is growing on paper along with that your market needs market expectations and both things are happening and when these things meet and then you walk in for interview job getting would be pretty easy for you okay and you need to understand it's life is just uh, not just about complaining and crying and there is no sympathy gains in this guys the it industry is professional it pays money and accordingly it expects people to perform right so when there is some expectation you have to raise up to that expectation deliver it and then the things would start working on very important okay now now all those kind of hungry people in the group who says i don't want to just be in the pace of the market expectations in fact i want to grow beyond that okay now the thing is it's all up to you where you want to grow you might be having 2 years of experience right now but don't look for the 4 4 uh, years experience look for maybe 5 years experience 6 years experience what those people are doing and if you are setting your mind to that kind of a goal somebody having like 6 years what is the market expecting from that and from today itself your actions are in line to become that person believe it by the time you get 4 years or 5 years experience you would be way better than market having 6 years expectation now that's what is the trick for hungry people who want to grow beyond the market expectation and when you grow there your potential your results your effects would be way more and market would be recognizing you like that you would be getting opportunities like that money would be flowing like that it's all up to you so you decide what kind of a level you want and attack opportunities like that and it's truly possible i have seen it happening and i want you people to apply this is what i am talking about as part of day 12 of success affirmations okay understand these things it's pretty practical stuff you need to make it count for yourself okay so now let's get started with our success affirmations which we do daily basis these are some things like what i am actually demonstrating for you people i want to demonstrate you to become a very successful person in life okay and becoming a successful person is a overall successful behavior you need to have a life where you have a strong career where you have position where you have power where you mean more value to the society okay so you as a person contributing more in your career growing more in your opportunities becoming that kind of a person leading teams organizing at very higher level so that you can give opportunities to the next set of people that's what is actually success journey but that doesn't happen just by focusing on your career it happens by focusing on the mindset which you have it happens by focusing on the overall personality which you have 
that's what as part of these success affirmation i want to be with you people to transform your overall personality which is going to definitely build a very strong career for you and a very strong successful life for you and it includes raising your bar of your mind of your heart of your personality of your individuality and then your career would also be there and that's where in between i am constantly giving and that's what i am in this it career for 10 years and i have seen growth i have seen sufferings i have i have seen people crying in it industry because they are not able to meet things i have seen people quitting the it industry because they are not able to meet you can just imagine you are so passionate to be in this industry and then 5 years from now you say hey no this is not my game i can i'll just drop and switch to something else right all this stage of the life for making that decision point is you can recorrect your life in such a manner take charge if you are working as per a proper track then you would not be encountering these kind of a dead ends where you would not be thrown away from your track okay and that's where you have to act when you have time and always life is about growth if you are not growing on a day by day basis or a month by month or a year by year basis then you would start getting into problems then you would start facing these challenges that you are trying to switch the job but you are not getting opportunities if you are cracking the uh, if you are going in for interviews you are not able to crack it and then comes the depression phase so you need to understand the reality of life and there is only one solution to tackle it down be in face of the market expectations and for those hungry people be beyond the pace of the market expectations if they ask like okay i need this skill you say you need that but that's a pretty easy thing for me i am this kind of an individual and then exhibit that life is not about just talks it's about execution it's about result it's about what kind of a power you give to the to yourself and then to your system okay and that's what keep putting relentless efforts for your growth and always have the vision that you have to grow to a better individual whatever your level is right now figure out what you want to do in your career accordingly google read the job descriptions of somebody having 3 years of experience or double your experience it's up to you what you want to choose but figure out what the market expects from somebody having more experience from you and now put your everyday efforts to become that person and believe it guys when you are looking from this perspective your brain is try going to find opportunities in your current working situation to work towards that kind of a growth it's very important if you set the target to your brain that i want to become that person let me go and me take me there your brain is going to look for opportunities hey what can you do right now which you are doing in a different manner which would actually take you to your growth pattern and this is what i have seen these techniques work and i know these techniques work the question is when will you apply these techniques on yourself and the day you start doing that you would be actually competing with a future version of you and day by day you would start getting better you would start getting better than your peers which you work around because they are not actively thinking about their personal growth they have left and i know that there is almost 80% of the it industry who has just left their careers on time let time pass whatever i am exposed to the projects i learn that and what is the silly reason people give that i am not having opportunities to learn they need to understand it's up to you to create opportunities and every company every organization gives a learning curve and opportunity you try to scrub it through make all your efforts don't just blindly assume opportunities are not there put your efforts to create opportunity if it is then also not coming then better you can switch over but first try to create opportunity in your zone okay very important so now let's start with the success uh, affirmations of our day 12 and here we go close your eyes deep breathe deep slow and then care about you as overall personality it's really good it's really required okay so look guys let's get started with a 7 minutes audio for success affirmation all that i need in order to succeed I am motivated. I am powerful. My behavior is aligned with my balanced state of mind. Everything that I do serves my goals without affecting others. Each day I completely trust my intuition. I am healthy. I am beautiful. I am wise. I am made with the purpose of doing great things. 
I am a perfect partner for my perfect partner. I am a magnet attracting abundance in my life. Fear is just a feeling. I overcome it and I move forward. I am successful in any area of my life. I am polite and respectful with any person that I meet. I am patient. I am the only one who can stop me. Everything is good right here, right now. I trust the universe that I am doing my best, no matter the situation. I am loyal. I am at peace with myself. I respect myself and everything that I do is meant to fulfill me. I am open-minded and I fully take advantage of all opportunities surrounding me. All my relationships have a purpose and they fulfill me. I choose to see all the opportunities surrounding me. Prosperity surrounds me. Prosperity fulfills me. Prosperity flows towards me and through me. I am able to do amazing things. I am worthy. I am balanced. Everything that I need comes to me at the right moment. I am powerful and present in my own life. I am more than enough. I am full hearted. I am special. I am at ease with the uncontrollable things happening in my life. I am ready for any challenges. I focus on the good in any given situation. I am aware of my mistakes and I learn from them. I make good decisions. I am calm and relaxed in any circumstances. I am the creator of my own life. I build its foundation and I choose its content. I am filled with energy and I exude happiness. I am far superior to negative thoughts and low actions. I am blessed with infinite talents and I use them every single day. I peacefully detach myself from negative people. I am inspired with new and good ideas. I am content with all my accomplishments. I am brave and I am kind. I am a positive person and my life is filled with prosperity. I am admired and many people acknowledge my results. I am blessed with health and motivation. I am indestructible. I radiate beauty, charm and grace. I am at peace with everything that happened, happens and will happen in my life. I am a wonderful human being. I am proud of everything that I've accomplished so far. I feel good in my own skin. All the universe's beauty lies within me. I trust myself to create an amazing life. I am ambitious. I am fearless and I take risks. I accept new experiences. I am curious. I am a learner. I am grateful for my life. I am always happy around other people. I profoundly love myself. I am able to achieve great things in my life. My inner voice is always positive in any given situation. I can do everything I set my mind to. I completely trust myself. I am positive. My life is abundant in wealth, health, and happiness. I accept everyone around me. I am a miracle. I am powerful. I am limitless.
Hey guys, so yes, you can open your eyes, feel free, feel broad, feel glorious. Okay? It's really big and a really crazy thing to take charge of your life. Many people just live, leave themselves to the flow of the time. If the curve comes which takes them to the high tide, they flow along with that. If the curve takes them to the depression phase, they go along with that. But it's pretty tough. If you're living, you're leaving. If you're leaving your life at the sake of destiny, you don't know where it is heading. It might take you to fortune or it might take you to ruin. Instead, you have to anchor your life and take the solidity where you decide where you want to grow, whether you want to go up or whether you want to go down. You have that navigation with you. It's the actions which you would spend now would determine where you are heading your life journey into. Don't live a life which is just running for the destiny and you don't know where it's heading into. Okay? You can hit up at anywhere. There might be dead ends. You might fail. You take the charge of your life. Define how you want to utilize your current day. Define how you would be spending up your every day of your life, every moment of your life. You have that decision. If you are not taking it now, believe it. The future can be anything. It can be worse for you. So you have to act now when you have time. We are talking about growth. We are talking about dedication. We are talking about promising to yourself that I will put efforts to become better. It's a self-commitment. And if you treat yourself, that is the worst part in the life. And you would like, you cannot see yourself in the mirror okay you cannot look at yourself in your eyes in your mirror if you're cheating on yourself and the question is will you cheat yourself will you fail yourself and that's a pretty big of a statement nobody in the world would fail themselves so when you know that you have to do something different today for becoming successful then the question is why are you not putting in the efforts are you that lazy that you don't want to grow? Are you that lazy that forever in your life you want to complain? Take a break, guys. Life is just bigger thing than this, okay? It's not about all this stuff what you're listening about, okay? Life is all about you taking charge and navigating through the struggles of this shit. Anything can happen. Things might get worse. But if you are strong, you can navigate and cut through these problems and then define that I can become powerful and there is possibility in every human being to cut through the challenges of the life and get a journey of life which is pretty successful, pretty happy, pretty deep. So don't fail yourself. Utilize your day in a manner which would make you something in your future. If you don't do that, then your life is heading in God knows which direction. And that's a pretty tough zone to be in. So understand these things. Apply them in a proper manner. Do the things when you have time. It's never going to reverse. And like I said earlier, regret is the worst enemy. You can spend next five years and say, wish in 2020 I would have done things differently. But that wish is never going to come true, guys. So the question is, do you want to really do something right now? Or do you want to go spend five years and then wish that I should have done something different. The choice is yours. The life, the time, it never waits for anybody. It's just moving on. Those who go along with the flow and take charge in their life, they become somebody. Others would just keep wishing. And if you just keep wishing, you would just regret, regret, regret. And then you would always be, I wanted to become somebody else, but I am not that person now. That would not be a happy ending to your life. It's sad, it's sorrow, and you need to understand this right now when you have time. The time is now, right now, today. What are you going to do differently than the other people of the world maybe? They might be spending their time in bullshit. They might be spending their time in television, apps, network, internet, blah, blah, blah. But what are you spending your time on? Are you feeding positivity are you feeding and upgrading your knowledge are you becoming better in your mindset in your physical capability that's the question which you need to keep asking to yourself guys don't judge yourself from the eyes of other people you judge yourself look in the mirror 
and then ask a question do you feel proud about the person that you look a- into do you feel proud about your own reflection and believe it guys a inner voice would answer something really honestly if you would be putting some additional efforts to grow yourself your inner conscious would say yes i am proud of you if you are not doing it your conscious would be i'm just wasting the time listen to that ask and talk to yourself do self talk talk to yourself your inner voice would tell you that do something about it and you have to listen to it guys you are cheating on yourself otherwise then that's the toughest part in life don't regret don't regret don't regret act when you have time so this is me tosif sheik coming again success affirmations trying to make you people realize the value of time you have and if you lose it you are you would be in a pretty bad shape guys and you need to understand this fact i have seen people suffering i have seen people crying i have seen people quitting i have seen people i have seen their linkedin post they say i am having 15 years of experience begging for job because something bad has happened to them life is full of surprises guys unless you are becoming something really powerful and great life can show you any colors so don't leave your destiny on time you take charge utilize your present moment that regardless of what happens tomorrow at least you would be in a zone where you can make your survival great do work towards that it's a beautiful life but only when you make it beautiful that's what it's about success affirmations coming again to you tosif sheik signing out for the day we would meet again tomorrow beat saturday beat a sunday i want to be with you people because i know i leave your hand and people might drop off i don't want that to happen people lack commitment these days they are not self motivated and i have to show them the light and be with them that's where i'm pleading you come here every day for your own success so that you get some spark this spark every day when it grows it would become a fire within you and you would do something about your own life understand this fact and get serious about stuff now guys it's high time you cannot leave your things just on the destiny saying it was not in my destiny the question is why it's not in your destiny and how can you make it happen earning money if that's not in your destiny how can you make it happen and what actions you would be taking right now to become a great person focus 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 achieve 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 this is me tosif sheik showing that it's possible to achieve signing out for the day do something about your life don't waste it away thank you bye bye